AITA for not being concerned about my boyfriend's parents' retirement situation, my 26F boyfriend, 28M, and I live in a city with a low cost of living. We both have good white-collar jobs with decent salaries and should be able to afford a comfortable life. My boyfriend is an immigrant and has worked very hard to get to where he is now in his career, yet he can't enjoy any of the benefits. My boyfriend's parents are in their mid-50s and apparently ready to retire. They live in his home country, where the cost of living and taxes are pretty low. Both are college-educated professionals who have worked steadily for over 25 years, earning good salaries. However, my boyfriend's father has made some very poor real estate investments and financial decisions over the past decade that have essentially wiped out their retirement fund. Now, my boyfriend's parents are asking him to send them money every month to finance their upcoming retirement. The amount they have requested, and he has started sending, is well over half his monthly paycheck. He makes over $5,000 a month, with only $700 in rent and no car, yet he is barely getting by due to the money he has to send back home. Essentially, he is struggling and living paycheck to paycheck with no savings so that they can have a comfortable early retirement. Before his parents suggested, or, rather, demanded, this arrangement, we were planning to buy a house, get married, and start a family in the next two to three years. Now, I have no idea how we can manage that. I work full-time but make less than my partner and can't finance all of that on my own. I love that my boyfriend cares so much about his family and is so generous, but this seems incredibly unfair of his parents, in my opinion. We had a conversation last night about our future, and he more or less said that this is how it's going to be, and he will just have to make more money. While I appreciate his determination, you can't just make more money overnight. It can take years to climb the corporate ladder to a significant level, and he doesn't even have the funds to start some kind of side business. I think this is partially due to our differing cultural values, having grown up in very different parts of the world, but I'm really upset about this situation. I'm upset that his parents are allowing him to struggle so they can live comfortably, and I'm upset that he is sacrificing or jeopardizing our future because of his father's poor financial choices. Ita.